Thank you, uh, Honourable Speaker, and also thank you to the Honourable Member. With the, the question, uh, Honourable Speaker, uh, seems to be suggesting what about those who are originally of Fiji, who are now overseas, and uh, what are the possibilities that are in place for them to actually return and offer their expertise. I have a great pleasure in informing this August House that this has been happening over the last couple of years. We have a uh, very strong contingent of former Fiji citizens, or Fiji residents, all over the world uh, who are highly qualified in health. And I'm not only talking about doctors, but also nurses, uh, allied health and physiotherapy, environmental health, uh, and working in uh, not only in, in, uh, in uh, health services, but also in uh, organizations such as uh, WHO and the United Nations. Over the last few years, they've been uh, coming back. And there are uh, different mechanisms of their returning. Some of them volunteer on their own uh, because they still have friends and colleagues who they worked with uh, back in the days when they were in Fiji. And they've grown together. And so that network is still uh, intact. And so that's a personal to personal relationship that's in place. I'm also pleased to inform the August House that we also have uh, uh, former Fiji residents that come because of certain programs. For example, the uh, Open Heart uh, team that comes regularly from uh, Sydney uh, that's supported by the Sydney Adventist uh, Hospital. Uh, over the years, we've seen a few more Fiji residents coming with this team, uh, including allied health professionals, and also physiotherapists. We also have an open art team that comes from Auckland, uh, which is mostly our, our former Fiji residents who now live in New Zealand. Uh, the surgeon, the, the open heart surgeon is uh, Dr. Parmanan, who's quite famous in New Zealand. And he has a team that comes to Fiji and operates uh, once every year, uh, initially out of Lotoka for the last few years. And last year, I believe they came to CWM. So part of that program, we have um, uh, volunteers that actually uh, become part of that program and come. And this is uh, supported through uh, Minister of Health and also the stakeholders that uh, support them from where they're coming from. We also have those that come on other programs that, uh, for example, the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, they support us through what is called the Pacific Island Program. And this is managed through the Royal Australian College of Surgeons. And they're visiting specialists that come and work with us in Fiji. And uh, my honorable co colleague, uh, Dr. Antonio, uh, would, will attest to that, that uh, they've been very helpful in the training. And uh, as we speak, I can just um, give us some names so that we are aware of these uh, very highly skilled health professionals. <laughs> Dr. Vijay Kapadia, who now resides in the Gold Coast, grew up in Turek. And uh, about uh, seven, eight years ago, he came and uh, he initiated what we now have uh, the cardiology unit at CWM, which also has a cath lab. And uh, he was very instrumental in doing this, again, with government support. And we, we have that uh, capability. And the training of our cardiologists that uh, are beginning to uh, improve their expertise in that area. This also includes the medical imaging specialist and also our nurses. And all this has been able to happen because of the support that uh, Dr. Kapadia and his group from uh, not only Australia, but New Zealand and Cardiac International has been able to do. Uh, we also have at the moment currently at CWM, uh, Dr. Chitoko Dama, who is a pediatric surgeon in Waikato. I went to school with him, did surgical training with him, and he's come back and he's spending three months with us, uh, teaching our surgeons and also our, our staff on how to manage very complex um, uh, pediatric cases. We also have um, uh, had Dr. Ragwal Narayan. Uh, uh, he's, he now resides in Australia. He supports us with the Masters in Pathology program that's in place at uh, the CWM and FNU uh, Hospital. So these are uh, the, the variations of how we have support from our for, former Fiji residents. And as I've alluded to Honorable Speaker, it's not limited to doctors. We are now beginning to see other health professionals come back 
It's nice to see nurses that have once worked in our institutions coming back as part of these teams to come and support us, even physiotherapists. So it is, I, I thank the Honourable Member for the question and uh, I am happy to be able to enlighten the House that uh, we have uh, these uh, programs in place and our enlightened and our uh, reputable friends uh, and former residents are able to come back and support us.